Huh. Ah, uh, we already have one like that. Uh, this one doesn't look interesting at all. Sammy! What? Did you rob a bank recently? Uh, does it need millions of dollars to make a craft? Of course not. So you're choosing a craft idea? That's right, uh-huh. Uh, this one's too pretentious. Huh. Hmm, maybe a house with a garden? It'll create a summer mood. I agree, a summer garden would be nice. Hey, Sam, wait for me! Hi, guys. Today we'll add a wonderful house with a summer garden to our house collection. We'll need lots of cardboard today. A cardboard garden? That's a new one. <laughs> Sammy, it's not that everything will be made out of cardboard, but in our business, I mean the craft making, cardboard is totally the stuff of life. So this is gonna be the base of our house. Now we'll glue the first wall to it. There, perfect. Huh, I wonder if we can build a really big cardboard house so we can live in it. I know a craft like that would take several days minimum, but uh, it's worth it. <sighs> I don't think a cardboard house can handle the bad weather, Sam. Huh. Yeah, all those rains and snows and storms and winds. Plus, it'll take more than a couple of days, <laughs> even with a whole work crew. All right, the base of this house is shaping up and I'm sure you can finish it, Sammy. No problem, Sue. After all our crafts, I'm kind of an expert in cardboard houses. <laughs> In the meantime, I'll continue making other pieces. For example, I already made these two for the staircase. I cut out all the steps. So it's done. Not a castle, of course, but it is something. Great, Sammy, the roof is just perfect. Huh, it seems like someone's after my title of the grand cutting master. I need my portion of happiness in the form of a thumbs up. <laughs> You'll have a chance to work with the cutter today, Sam. By the way, any garden has its garden gnomes, and ours shared their magic with me. Up. Huh, impressive. Gnomes help came in handy. <laughs> now let's finish our staircase. We need to close all the openings with these cardboard pieces. Can you do that, Sammy? I'll do it with pleasure. Staircases never hurt anybody. There, one more little part is ready. So guys, we cut out two walls with windows and two side walls. One of them has a door. We also cut out all the windows and doors inside the house. Sam, how's it going over there? Phew, that was tedious work. I'll be more respectful of the stairs from now on. Good job, Sammy. The staircase is perfect. No one will fall through. We better hurry if we want to finish our summer garden before the actual summer comes! Yeah, Sammy, let's speed it up. I still have that garden no magic. Do you, uh, mind demonstrating it? Nope, here are the wallpapers. And the roof, of course. Hop. So the first part of our work is done. Check this out. Huh. Not bad, but the windows look creepy like black holes in space. <laughs> we can easily fix that. I will show you how to make the windows. First, we'll apply some glue. Then we'll carefully secure the glass like this. Don't push too hard. Now we'll decorate it so that our window looks neat and cozy. <laughs> what do you say, Sammy? I like it. We'll have a Perovin style house. <laughs> With this exquisite simplicity, so to say, we will set the new trend. Oh, Sammy, that's very ambitious. I don't need paper. I always work clean without leaving a trace. <laughs> Sammy, that's for the curtains. Here, see? Don't they look real? Here we go. That's also a good way to save on fabric. <laughs> exactly, Sammy. <laughs> All right. Now, while I'm working with the windows, here's a task for you. Make many strips like this of different lengths. We'll cover our roof with them. 
At first it was steps, then windows, now roofs. My building career's kicking off. Now let's glue this part to our cardboard base. Hey, Sue. I started thinking that you give me the most difficult tasks. Uh, no, Sammy, I'm not. You know what? You can have a rest and I'll use some magic. Huh? Uh, Susie, what is that anyway? The upside down house? Oops. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'll make everything just right. Uh, there. Now everything looks perfect. Thank you and the garden gnomes for that magic. Speaking of gnomes, Sue, did you know that there's a rights movement? Uh, something like the Greenpeace called the Garden Gnome Liberation Front? No, I didn't. I made this platform for the house. It should perfectly match the dimensions of the base of our house. There. So, Sammy, tell me more about that gnome movement. Oh, that's very unusual. Oh, uh, listen. Oh, one moment. Check out this paste first. All right. We're gonna cover our house with it. All over. This way. Okay, okay, keep talking. <laughs> <clears throat> so, the members of the movement steal garden gnomes from gardens and set them free. I mean, they leave the gnomes far from the houses. <laughs> Actually, one activist was even accused of stealing and setting free 170 garden gnomes. I think they should make a film about that. The Gnome Savior. I'd watch that. <laughs> um, hold on with the film. Let's finish our house first. <sighs> I was dreaming, Susie. I was dreaming. Guys, check out how good the paste looks on our house. Please note that I glued several more steps to the platform right here. Great job, Susie. What do we do next? Now we're gonna glue these window frames to all the windows. Uh, step away, Sammy. Here we go. There, check out how beautiful it is. <sighs> I love it. Yeah, now I want to live in a house like this even more. But this roof won't do. What do you suggest? Mm, I'm thinking of mixing these colors. I guess it'll come out nice. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think this color is just right for the roof. Huh. Well, if you want to know the opinion of a professional designer, I love it! <laughs> Great! Then I hope that professional can help me paint the roof. <laughs> I both glued and painted the roof. Now I can rightfully sunbathe on it on a sunny day. Great job! Let's let it dry. By the way, while you were enthusiastically painting the roof, I painted the foundation. And covered the floor with planks this way. See? Fair enough. I'm responsible for the roof, you for the floor. I already painted the door blue, too. We'll hinge it on these pieces made of beads and wires. There. And the handles are actually made of pearl beads. So, your gnomes didn't share their magic with me, but I know one trick on my own. Really? What trick? The editing magic! Wow, Sammy, not bad. Do you by any chance have a spell for this banister, too? Anything for you, Sue. That's enough, Sam. I got it from here. That's what I call teamwork. Here comes the last piece. Carefully. Oh, what delicate work. Let's attach our nice balcony to this wall of the house. Press it a little. Ugh. There. We'll use some more magic. Whoa! That reminds me of a jewel of two wizards. Only your magic's more powerful. <sighs> oh, don't be upset, Sammy. The most powerful magic is hard work. We can master that together. Knock, knock. <laughs> Oh, it's my favorite part of the craft! Yup, it's time to furnish our house! This magic tool, the tweezers, will help us arrange all the furniture. Susie! Yeah? Give me those tweezers! There should not be just Wi-Fi, but also feng shui! <laughs> hey, Sue, I think the room looks wonderful. Great job, Sammy. Now let me quickly make a wooden sunshade. 
go on and I'll watch you with pleasure. Like any true artist, I need more rest. Oh, Sue, you're too fast. I want to participate too. Who ever heard of Sam not taking part in the decoration process? Okay, where do I am? Ah, uh, there. Uh, done. Sammy, it looks almost perfect, but I'd change one tiny thing. Voila! What do you say? You added color! Great idea, Sue! It's so much better. Well, guys, we're gonna finish soon. Let's add greenery to make our house look even brighter. This piece goes on top. Ah, Sue, working on this house with a garden makes me want to be in nature. Agreed, Sammy. I think pretty much everyone dreams of having their own house with a beautiful garden. Ah, nature. Oh, a garden idea! Let's have a walk after we build this house and you can give a thumbs up for this video. Huh, Sue? Great idea, Sam. Yippee! I'll go check the weather. In the meantime, check out a little piece of nature we made in our house. Beautiful, isn't it? And I prepared one more thing. <laughs> oh, Sammy, they're so cute. They look like the ones our neighbor has. Yeah, that's where I got the idea. <laughs> There's no house without lighting. Let's set these outdoor lanterns on the walls this way. And one more lantern goes right here. Two more in the back of the house. And a line for lighting the terrace. Now we need to connect all the wires. Guys, don't forget to ask an adult to help you. This part of the work can be very dangerous. Deal? Tell him, Sammy. That's right. You'd better leave it to an adult. By the way, the LED lamps are powered by batteries. All you need to do is press the button. Phew, how did people live without electricity before? I can't imagine. Well, they used fire as a source of light and warmth. They used it instead of lamps and ovens. But I'm glad that we have all these technological achievements today. So, can we see the result of your work? <laughs> sure. Then I'll turn off the light. Well, guys, we're at the finish line. I'm gonna arrange the last decorations. And I'll take care of the lawn. Oh, Sammy, the lawn is wonderful. Let me add just one more thing. Voila. <laughs> That's better. I put a comfy deck chair with a table on the terrace. Let's finally enjoy the house in all its glory. This is what it looks like when it's dark. So, coziness is another name for this house. Oh, yes. Guys, I hope you liked this video. Now you can make a house like this at home. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. And we're gonna go have a walk. Right, Susie? Right, Sammy. We deserved it. Bye-bye, guys. See ya.